Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Jim Oliver. I'm the provost here uh, at the Seminole campus, and it's uh, my pleasure to welcome you this evening to our ninth annual 2014 Semi Awards. Um, this year, uh, we had a large number of entries, a uh, very large number of entries, 97 submissions this year, compared with 66 a year ago. The program is growing, not, not just the digital arts program, but the Semi Awards themselves. All the work showed great talent and creative initiative. Uh, the display of talent, frankly, was overwhelming. Uh, I'm, I'm just glad I didn't have to be a judge. <laughs> Much easier job up here. Uh, uh, we realized that, uh, that all of our students um, have remarkable individual talents, um, and we could never categorize them. Uh, that said, we do have an awards program with, with awards in categories, and so we're going to try to do our best to represent our best. Um, even though it's our privilege to honor the top entries in each category, uh, there is work uh, in that each and every one of you who competed in this, comp in this uh, awards program um, uh, did that is uh, noteworthy, and your ability to contribute uh, great things to your industry is obvious. It's also important to know that there was so much talent in this competition that in several of the categories, the winning entry was decided uh, by the difference of just a few points in the judges' scoring. Before we get to the winners, I'd like to talk a little bit about the program behind some of the student work that you're going to see here tonight. This is, as I mentioned, the ninth year of the Semi Awards, and each year uh, we get more and more, we're more and more amazed by the growth and talent of our students. Um, this is the first year that the Digital Arts Program officially added internships to our program. We're very proud of that. Many of the students have gained invaluable experience in the workplace with outstanding placements at the Salvador Dalla Museum, the Florida Holocaust Museum, WEDU-TV, the City of St. Petersburg, Anona United Methodist Church, and St. Petersburg College Marketing and Public Information Department, just to name a few. We encourage every student to participate in an internship to help them connect with businesses and gain valuable experiences that prepare them for entry into their chosen profession. Dr. Law, our president, uh, has been quoted as saying, in today's competitive job market, internships give our students an extra edge by providing valuable community contacts and focused work experience that can lead to full-time jobs. By partnering with St. Petersburg College, Local employers help build our community's local workforce and while developing well-prepared new talent for their organization. Any student interested in obtaining an internship should contact the internship office or if you're here at the Seminole campus, Sandy DiCarlo, who's our outreach specialist and who's here this evening, uh, can help you as well. But now it's time to give out awards. You know, these are the semis for Seminole Emmys and, and they're very much like the, the Emmy Awards. And, uh, uh, you've all heard the old saw that it's an honor just to be nominated. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, it is an honor just to be nominated. And there are a lot of folks who will not see their names or, or, uh, on the screens and will not win awards today and, and will not even be in the, the top three that did excellent work. So I echo Scott's uh, commentary about uh, you all being winners tonight. Um, but we can only give out so many semis, and so let the show begin. After awards been presented, um, what we, the cadence on this is we announce the, um, the, uh, the nominees or the winners, and then we play a video clip from the, the winning awards. And so here we go. Our first award will be for gaming in the category Best Video Game Creation. And the winner is Taylor Hash for Super Cuttlefish. Super Cuttlefish. And we're going to get we're going to let the winners say a few words as well. Congratulations. This is awesome. Right. Say a few words. Uh, I didn't expect this. The last thing I said to my girlfriend was, "I'm not going to win. Someone's better than me." Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know what to say. I'm happy that someone played my game and understood it and enjoyed it and thought it deserved an award. So. Thank you to everybody. Um, thank you to Professor Keith. You've been, where are you at? Professor Keith, there you are. I, I thank you. You've been a real big help through the past couple semesters here. And 
just, I'm, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Now let's take a look at Taylor's Super Cuttlefish. Best video game creation. The next award will be for digital media in the category Best High School Internet Media. Let's take a look at the nominees. High School Internet Media. And the winner in the category, Best High School Internet Media, is Charles Lambert for Video Game Hobby from Dixie Hollins High School. Congratulations, well done. Uh, I totally didn't expect this. Uh, all my classmates had wonderful websites. Uh, I really want to thank my teacher, Miss O'Brien. She helped me learn all the stuff, how to make websites. That's about it. <laughs> now let's look at Mr. Lambert's uh, website one more time. Our next award will be for graphic design in the category Best High School Digital Graphic. Let's take a look at the nominees. in the category Best High School Digital Graphic is Elaine Page for the Fuse Campaign from Dixie Hollins High School. close enough. <laughs> um, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you um, to my mom and dad and to Mr. Panetta. His beard inspires me. <laughs> Let's take a look at Elaine's winning graphic. Graphic Design Our next award will be for Graphic Design in the category Best Digital Graphic from our SPC students. Let's take a look at the nominees.
And the winner in the category uh, Best Digital Graphic from an SPC Student is Heather Rambo. Heather. Um, I totally didn't prepare anything to say. I had no idea I'd be behind a microphone, but I think the person I need to thank the most is my husband, John Rambo, and my son, Reese Rambo, for putting up with all the hours I spend in the office when I could be spending time with them. <laughs> Let's take another look at Heather's design. Graphic Design, Best Digital Graphic. Our next award will be in the Graphic Design in the category Best Digital Imaging. Now let's take a look at the nominees. And the winner in the category of Best Digital Imaging is Scott Dunn. Well, thank you guys very much. Um, I mostly want to thank my instructor, Reagan Brown, for um, always pushing me to try my best and uh, really helps a lot of inspiration in my family and friends as well. So thank you guys very much. Let's take a look at uh, Scott's image. Graphic design. Our next award will be in the category Best Website Design. Let's take a look at the nominees. And the winner in the category Best Website Design is Marina Rambo. husband and son, and I guess the only other people I need to thank are all the instructors who've taught me how to do what I know how to do now. <laughs> Let's take another look at Marina's site. Web. Best website. We're switching categories now. This is uh, uh, our next award will be for in the category of uh, digital music. And the category is best song. Let's give a listen to the nominees.
Winner uh, in the in the category best song is Ryan Blank for Same Things. Man, uh, just like a lot of other people said, I really didn't think I was going to win. So. Uh, I don't have much prepared, but we can keep this uh, short and sweet. So first and foremost, I want to thank God for giving me this, this ability and this talent. I want to thank my uh, amazing parents for just being so supportive through everything. I want to thank my beautiful, wonderful girlfriend for being such an inspiration to me. And I want to thank uh, three of my professors. I want to thank Jeffrey Donovic for teaching me uh, just so much about music theory. I want to thank um, Professor Jamie Hughes for teaching me not only about music theory, but just the whole creative process when, when it comes to songwriting. And then finally, I want to thank uh, Dave Greenberg for um, specifically just working with me in this song, um, not, just, not just the song structurally, but, um, but sonically and pushing me to, uh, to get better takes and to make better mixes and to make the vocals stand out or the drums stand out or come back or anything like that. But yeah, thank you again so much. Let's give another uh, listen to Ryan's winning song. Oh, oh. This is the way I'm reaching out to you. We're not the same. Your brokenness, I can't say. Our next award, our next award will be in the category um, in the uh, area of digital music again, and the category is best thematic composition for film or game. Let's give a listen to the nominees. of the best thematic composition for film or game is Stephen Scott Berry for Hype. Doug to stand with me here because this was actually one of the Urban Rock Project songs and really I have to thank Mark Matthews, the former head of the program because he's the person that put us together in Tech 3. Uh, ta uh, Taylor Edmondson who played drums on this, all the TV stations that actually played the Urban Rock documentary, but I also asked Doug up here because this is a good example of why we're in school is we met in Tech 3 and we've worked together both in school, outside of school, we've done a 30 minute documentary that's aired across the country and none of this would have happened 
if we had not collaborated together right here at SBC. So again, I have to thank the SBC Mirror Program and the Digital Arts Media Program. Okay, let's uh, listen again to Hype. Our next award will also be for digital music in the category Best Interactive Music or Sound Design. Let's give a listen to the nominees. And the winner for Best Interactive Music or Sound Design is Dylan Mixer for Kaja. I hope I pronounced that right, Dylan. If not, you can correct it. Thank you guys, wasn't really expecting it. Uh, thank you my two friends, Dakota and John back there for coming with me because I didn't really want to come alone. Um, thank you for Professor uh, Jeff Donovic. He is an amazing professor. He's a really driving force behind the mirror program and I don't know if I could have made it that far without him. Um, sorry I didn't dress better. <laughs> if you're not careful, Dylan, we're gonna send you out on a tank full with an outfit like that. Uh, Let's take another listen to uh, Dylan's winning sound design. Okay, now we're on to our awards in the video categories. Our first award will be for Best High School Video Production. Let's take a look at the nominees.
and the semi for uh, best high school video production goes to Rachel Andelman, Zach Savitsky, and Paul Weisskopf for The Zipper, Dixie Hollins High School. short um, right. um, like a lot of people I didn't expect to be up here but uh, thank you dad and my mom who's at home but um, Lizzie I can see you thank you uh, for getting me into film in the first place uh, so um, and also thank you to my two film teachers who taught me a lot this year so. Let's take another look at the zipper. High school, video production. Our next award uh, for video is in the category of Best Editing. Best Editing. Let's take a look at the nominees. Without a sound. Here we are, no one else. We walk to school all by ourselves. There's dirt on our uniforms from chasing all the ants and worms. We clean up and now it's time to learn. And the semi award for best editing goes to Ali Sharia, Christian Costello, and Zach Murray for nothing. Or nothing. But nothing but crunch, Doritos commercial. Sorry, gentlemen. You can correct that. <laughs> the mic is yours. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank all the teachers here that helped uh, in the digital media department. Uh, Ms. Keith. Ms. Rain, Mr. Peplo, Mr. Hallsizer, you guys were a big influence on me. This is actually just a commercial we did for Doritos. They do one every year for a million dollars, and they say every good Doritos commercial has either children or animals. We had neither, so we hit people with basketballs. Uh, thank you very much. Let's take another look at uh, this winning entry. Video, best editing. All right, game point. Here we go. Dorito is the same, view it the same. Uh, our next award uh, in video is the category Best Camera.
best camera. Let's take a look at the nominees. <laughs> I have read that it helps with your brain activity, it helps with your coordination, and it looked like it was so much fun. I thought dancing is it. I'm going to try dancing, and so far, I have really enjoyed dancing. And the uh, winner of the category Best Camera, Best Videography for Hunger is Philippe Bergeson. All I have to say is that Cockroach was the best actor I ever had. <laughs> Let's take another look at that winning entry. Video, best videography. And now for our final award of the evening uh, in the category, video category, the ca in the category of best direction. Let's take a look at the nominees. There's something evil in your house. Oh, don't get carried away by your imagination. Way I've always been on a stage. And I get the light switch. I think being a little person and being raised with the attitude I was raised with, that got me ready for stand up. Because now, if someone heckles me in the audience, it's nothing I haven't heard before. How long were you in prison for? I did, I was sentenced to a 48 month sentence, which was four years. I did 42 months. So you feel like it, it's hard for you to job since you've been in prison, been convicted felon? When it comes to a corporate office, I don't have a chance. Why you don't have a chance? Because of the fact that I'm a felon. You feel like it should be easier for you to find a job? I mean, not necessarily easier, but there shouldn't be so many boundaries. No matter what you want to do in life, being a felon is always going to follow you. And the winner uh, for the semi in best direction is, and I'm not going to mispronounce it again, I've been told I can just say it's Ali and Christian Costello for coming up short. Um, thank you. Um, I'd like to actually thank the uh, other nominees. I know Michael. He's actually a great videographer and director and that video is awesome. Um, this video that we did coming up short, it just first started out as a uh, follow in the day of a life of a stand-up comedian who also happens to be a little person. But it turned actually into so much more. It turned into um, a video where 
through laughter you can really overcome even the worst days. And um, what they say is true, laughter is the best medicine. So uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's, let's take one more look at Alien Christian's winning entry. People know what it's like. This is great. Keep doing what you're Video. doing. Video. I get Best Direction. From Dwarfs online, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, saying, hey, I'm really bummed out. How do you, how do you deal with it? I dealt with it for humor. We all have a coping mechanism. I didn't take it so seriously. I laughed at life. I looked at this and said, well, this is the hand I'm dealt. I cannot change it. I cannot do anything to, like, I can't look at LeBron James and say, well, I'm going to do that. How could I be that? No, I can't be LeBron James. But also, LeBron James can't be Brad Williams. Make something about yourself that people look at and go, wow, I want to do that. Make everything better. Yeah. That concludes our formal program this evening. Let's give another round of applause to all the winners and all the entrants. Fabulous, fabulous job. I, I want to remind uh, all the winners in tonight's competition that we will be having a group photo up here uh, up on stage at the end of the ceremony. So if all the winners would bring their uh, semis back up, we're not going to take them away, but we do want to have that group photo. And we'd like to invite everyone in the audience to join us in our post-awards uh, uh, show party out in the lobby where you can um, enjoy the refreshments and meet and congratulate all of the award winners. Good evening and thanks again. We'll see you next year at the semis. Award winners, please come forward. We can walk down to the bay Talk about nothing all day That's all right with me